everybody and welcome to Bob's Garden. Today we're going to root a cutting that I made from this ficus here. When I was working we put the ficus right into the water to keep it moist while we're waiting uh, to pot up and we're going to be using a rooting powder hormone. This is Hormex. It's got various numbers on here. Number one, number two for easier to root plants and number eight for more difficult to root plants. This is an acid, so we want to be careful with this. And we never ever use this directly from the bottle. Always pour the rooting hormone into the cap first, and we'll be using to dip our cuttings into that there. So here is our ficus cutting. I've prepared a pot already. On the top of this pot, about this much of this pot is filled with a regular um, growing medium, uh, like the um, Pro Mix. And then there's about two to three inches of sand, play sand, just play sand, in the top that's been wet. Now, you, instead of using the play sand, you could also use vermiculite and perlite. But for me, in my garden, this works the best. So, we're going to take a cutting. You'll see that there's part of it's woody and part of it's green. You'll have more success if it's totally green, but it will also go on a woody cutting. Now, this has no roots, and therefore it doesn't really need leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these leaves off, and you'll see up here on the very top, we do have this one leaf that's ready to sprout. If we leave the leaves on, it won't root. So we take that off, because we don't need them. It's just going to be all nitrogen, no carbohydrates, and this is going to grow like crazy. And now we've got this, and we're going to make a 45 degree angle slanted cut, so somewhere along the base here. That gives us the greatest surface area. And next, we take the rooting hormone powder and we just gently coat the bottom like this. All right, we can tap off the excess. And now we're going to put it in to the pot. So what happens if we just go like that? Well, you're going to rub the rooting hormone off of the cutting. So we take our trusty chopstick and we make a hole first. And we place our carefully in there, and then we just tap down that sand. And then we can continue to make as many cuttings if you want. Sometimes if I, I, I can just do this. I don't have to really cut them off. This one I will because it's near, it's near the top there. Okay, and here's another one, again. We can put uh, as many cuttings as you want here. You can, you can probably so fit maybe uh, at least uh, five or six. I go around a circle and then put one in the middle. And it's as simple as that. And uh, some point later we'll show you how these have grown out and then rooted. And then when, once they've rooted in here, we'll put them into a proper pot. And on we go. So when we're completely done with our number of uh, cuttings that we want to root, um, take the excess rooting hormone powder and just discard it. Uh, don't use it over again, unless you're going to do it later in the day as well. But uh, don't leave this out. So thank you for watching, and remember, be curious, not judgmental.